from the land of red roses and red carpets, it's Romancing the Squares. Starring John Ritter and Amy Yazbek. John Tesh and Connie Selica. Donna Diarico and rocker Nikki Six. George Hamilton and Alana Stewart. Martin Mull and Peggy. Uh-huh. Jeannie and Casey Kasem. Hessians Galen Gehring and Jenna Gehring. Jerry Stiller and Anne Mira. And this week's Center Square, Dame Edna Everett. I'm Mother Love, and here is your host, Tom Bergeron. Thank you, Mother Love. Thank you, Mother Love. Great to have you here with us this week. I know, audience, I know that painting is supposed to be me as Cupid, but doesn't it look more like Burt Backrack molting? <laughs> Our center square all week with the ashes of her dearly departed husband, Dame Edna Everidge. Give it up for Dame Edna. And our contestants today, as all week, are newlyweds. Let's meet them. Mindy Mills is Miss Circle today. Welcome, right, Mindy. Good you. to have you here. And in the exposition, David Merritt. How you doing, Hi. David? Good to see you. you. All right. Now, you know the drill. Tic-tac-toe. You have to decide if the answers the stars are giving are correct or they're just making them up. That's how you get the squares. It's a $1,000 first game. Who won the coin toss backstage? You did. All right, Mindy, you start. Dame Edna, please. Dame Edna Everidge Knight with Dame Edna currently at the Forest Theater in Philadelphia and then on to San Francisco after that. Dame Edna was the crowbar named for a crow. Well, I'm glad you didn't ask me about the dictaphone, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I think it was named after Russell Crowe. <laughs> oh, oh, really? I think it was because there's a similarity when you come to think of it. <laughs> no, but the crowbar has been around a lot longer than, than well, Russell Crowe. It is longer than Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say yes, it was named after a crow. I'll disagree. Yes, the end of the crowbar resembles a crow's beak or foot. You X see? gets the square. David, break for you. <laughs> All right. Like Martin Mull and Peggy, please. Martin Mull and the lovely and inflatable Peggy. Okay, Martin. Finally found someone with an inflated ego to match my own. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, Cosmo says, to prevent skin problems, what should you not wash your underwear with? Well... Um, even though it may seem like the only thing that'll work, uh, you should not wash your underwear with steel wool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> or... Or... <laughs> um, I would say with cold water. I disagree. Bleach or fabric softeners, they can be irritants. Someone knows from personal experience in the audience. X gets the square there. Mindy. I'll take Jerry Stiller and Ann Mira for, for the, the block. For the block, all right, Jerry from King of Queens. Ann's guest starring this month on King of Queens. Prevention.com says if your ears tend to hurt on a plane, this common everyday medication will help ease the pain just before takeoff. Take what? Take the train. Aspirin <laughs> <laughs> or uh, yeah, yeah. Aspirin, I think. Aspirin. Aspirin. I'll disagree. No, a nasal decongestant spray keeps the sinuses open. Circle gets the block. David. I like Galen and right. Jenna. Galen and Jenna Gehring. All right, good enough. Galen Lewis on Passions. Jenna shooting a movie with Tom Arnold now. What did Betty Davis say doing every now and then is good for a marriage? It adds spice and stops it from getting boring. Doing what? Mm. Getting hammered and getting nailed. <laughs> 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 I think I think I know this. I think she said going on separate vacations. All right. Actually. I agree. No, she said having an affair would, would help. That's what Betty said. <laughs> Circle gets that one. All right, Mindy. I'll take Jeannie and Casey Kasem, please. Jeannie and Casey Kasem. Casey starring as Shaggy on the new series, What's New Scooby-Doo on Kids WB. Can you give us a little Shaggy voice? Scooby, old buddy, old friend, old pal, here we are in the big time. Let's hope we win. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. 
Now, Casey, you also played the voice of Robin in the Batman cartoons, but in the 60s TV series, Batman and Robin were honored by the National Safety Council for never failing to do something. Do what? They always used protection. Oh. I suppose they carried it around in their uh, utility belts, right? Um, it was uh, to buckle up for safety. Buckle Everybody up their, buckle their, up. Their, their seat belts. I'll agree. All right. Yes, that's right. In the Batmobile. Circle gets it. David. I'll take John Ritter and Amy Yazbek. John Ritter and Amy Yazbek. John from Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter on ABC. What would a greedy person rather have, a quintillion or a sextillion? Well, Tommy, you know as well as I do that if you have a quintillion, you can get all the sextillion. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. David, you know what I'm uh, No, actually, um, sextillion is six, quintillion is five, so sextillion would be the right answer. I agree. Sextillion, yeah, that is correct. Sextillion is what you want. X gets a block. We get a break. We'll continue romancing the squares right after this. Stick around. Do you observe Valentine's Day in your own private lives? Yes, we do. Do you? Do you? I don't. I'm a widow. Oh, I'm sorry. My yes. husband passed away. Oh, Too it was bad. a relief. Was a... He was older than oh. me. <laughs> and he had a, a prostate problem. I noticed it on our wedding day. He was up and down all night. <laughs> up and down all night long. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Special week on Hollywood Squares. All of our contestants this week are newlyweds. Let's hear from today's contestants. David Merritt, tell us about yourself. Well, I was, I was born and raised in Durham, North Carolina. I'm an executive assistant, and I met my beautiful wife, um, and I proposed to her during the movie Castaway, and I let the manager, he put up the thing that says, Come in attraction, and who starred in Five Foot of Love? And the answer was, Patricia Harris, will you marry me? Oh, very nice. Clever. Clever, <laughs> mister. Very nice. Mindy Mills, tell us about yourself. I live in Anaheim, California. I'm a member service representative at a major credit union. And I married my high school sweetheart, Aaron. And he proposed to me the day before I graduated college at the Wishing Well at the Magic Kingdom. Very nice. OK. I believe it's your turn, Mindy. I'll take George Hamilton and Alana Stewart All for the block. For the block, All right, George and Alana. <laughs> the Golden Raspberry, an award handed out annually to the worst that Hollywood has to offer, has been given to this actor a record eight times. Who is it? Who? Because I don't know. I don't Not know Adam Sandler, no. I. No, Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. Is that who Stallone. You think? I say Stallone. You say S Stallone. <laughs> Put hey, yes, hello. yes, yes. I'll say it. I'll say it. <laughs> Sylvester I'll agree with you. Stallone. Oh, good. I disagree. Sylvester Stallone. Oh. That is correct. <laughs> David, can't give you that one. Ooh. I'll take John Tesh and Connie Sullivan All for the right, win, John please. and Connie to win. John's website is Tesh.com. Connie's is SelicaSolution.com. Disgusted when its officers wipe their runny noses on their sleeves, Napoleon added this to the uniforms. What did he add? Yeah, I think anyone who has small children knows the answer to this. You just put something very sharp on their sleeve. <laughs> like sequins. <laughs> or buttons. Buttons. Add buttons to their sleeve. I agree. Buttons it was for Napoleon. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Get the square. And the win. By the way, by the way, Connie t Connie's parenting tip about the sharp things on the sleeve, <laughs> you do it your own risk. You know? <laughs> All right, time for our next $1,000 game. This no, one has wait, wait, a... Oh, hey, hey, hey. What, Listen, mother -mother? it's that time. Yes, since we're celebrating Valentine's Day this week, someone in our audience is going to receive a romantic dinner for two at Campanile, which is a lovely restaurant here in Los Angeles. Dan McLaughlin. Dan McLaughlin, bring you and your guest up on the stage, Dan. You and your guest. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome, and what's your name? Jennifer, you stand between us, a rose between two thorns. This is dinner for two at uh, Campanile uh, here in Los Angeles. Congratulations, and uh, have a wonderful romantic meal on us. 
And, you know, since we're on national television, if anything else uh, comes up you'd like to talk about now, take the stage. Okay. Um, when I first met you, it seemed like everything I'd ever hoped for was sitting right in front of me. All my dreams have been answered. Your tender, loving, and caring ways have brought joy to my heart like I've never felt before. I love you so much. I want to keep you laughing forever and make you the happiest person you could ever be. Will you marry me? Thank Robbins Brothers, the world's biggest engagement ring store. And as our gift to you, Hollywood Squares is going to send you on a trip to uh, Puerto Rico as well. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. I was, weren't you worried that she was going to say, I disagree? That would be. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. All you. right, contestants, we'll be back to you right after this. More Hollywood Squares. Promotional consideration furnished by the following.